Hey guys, so this is gonna be another theories video. Just a little insight to this video. It's currently 10:40 p.m. <laughs> I about an hour or so ago I just finished recording um, another five video. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm wide awake and I know made no fall asleep till 3 a.m. And for whatever reason, I decided to do a video right now. So. Not saying it won't be crappy, <laughs> but just to give you some insight. I don't know when this video will be up. It'll be up sometime Monday. I'm I'm hoping to schedule around 8 a.m. Central. So for those in that time zone, you'll be able to see it. Um, in the morning, it'll be out all day. So for those who watch my videos normally at night, when I normally upload, um, you don't have to worry about watching two videos. My next five video will be Tuesday night, the night after this video goes up, over my review of that Flash episode. So if you enjoyed the video, hit the, button, hit the like button down below, this guy if you're new, and uh, enjoy this video. So, I think we all know Barry's going to become the reverse Flash. I, I think we all know that. Thawne's taking over Barry, our Barry, and that's going to be really the setup to it. But the question is, will our Barry actually become the reverse Flash? We I mean, know future Barry already is a reverse flash. We know that. But will our Barry be able to stop Thawne from taking him over, our Barry over, before he's completely lost? I mean, he's already lost his mind several times over. Our Barry's lost several times over. So, and it's I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's because of Thawne. Despero. It kind of makes me think a little bit because of everything Barry's gone through in the last two days. And, and again, at point time in the show, it's over two days. With him losing CCPD, Gideon, Star Labs, all that. It, Despero's making it seem like this is all Barry's doing. This isn't someone taking over Barry. Which, why would Despero know even if someone was taking over Barry? Especially if it was Thawne. I mean, if it was Thawne... He must have planned for all of this, obviously, because I wouldn't he? And it's just a matter of making sure for him that Despo doesn't find out that he is taking over Barry. But again, will he actually take over our Barry? I think he will. But at the same time, I think what we're going to see is two Barrys in our timeline in the present. One is our Barry, which hasn't been taken over. And the other one is a future Barry that comes back. And that is Thawne. In a new suit. I'm assuming that's what that would be. Now, and it's not just for another video I did. I think it was for 804. Which is part 4 of the crossover. We learned that Barry makes a deal with Dark. Damien Dark returns. And he makes Barry makes a deal with Dark. Um, to stop Thawne. Supposedly. Something along those lines. Could it be become the reverse Flash? I, and the more important thing is, what would Despero do? I mean, he Despero saw Barry destroy the city. Pretty much. He saw him attack the city. He saw Barry attack his own team, nearly killed Chester. And he doesn't give a crap what Barry thinks. He doesn't give a crap that he doesn't remember. He's going to kill him. He's trying to kill him right now. But... I mean, we know Barry can't outrun Despero. Somehow, some way, he'll find him. He always does. And that's not bad writing. That That's legitimately Despero. His powers can find him that easily. So, I think the question is... <laughs> I mean, it, it, what... What would Despero do? I mean, if Barry does become the reverse Flash, he's going to try to kill him. Obviously, because why wouldn't he? But, I mean, would Thawne have planned for that? I mean, would Thawne really go that far ahead? Take over Barry, get his speed, and then let it all end by Despero killing him? I don't really think so. And it's not like you can't kill a god unless Thawne really learned how to. I mean, <laughs> you, you might be able to run one. Barry can. But you're definitely not going to kill one. I, I don't think Despero would it all end with Thawne killing him. A god. <laughs> That's what Despero is. He's a god. With alien abilities. Stronger than Supergirl, probably. And... Thawne wouldn't be able to kill that. So... I don't know. 
unless they're going to do it to where maybe Barry purposely becomes a reverse Flash, let Thawne come out to maybe ruin his plan and then draw Despero out to show him that it wasn't actually Barry that was doing it. It was Thawne. And maybe Despero will try to kill Thawne <laughs> as Barry. But then, I mean, Barry would die. <laughs> so Despero would get what he wanted the whole time. I don't know. It is so... <laughs> what? <laughs> It, there, there's so many ways it can go. Again, it's like with the Joe West dying thing. There's so many ways it can go. I'm glad... I'm not complaining, by the way. I, I'm glad we're actually being able to do this. Like, we're actually being able to look at all different angles. Because we haven't been able to do that in the show before. I mean, there's probably been a couple times, but... I mean, there's cliffhanger after cliffhanger after cliffhanger. After cliffhanger, probably. And after another cliffhanger. I think there's four cliffhangers now, but... <laughs> or there will be eventually, but... I, I mean... It's something. <laughs> I I wouldn't like to think that Barry would become the first Flash. Our Barry would become the first Flash. But it's kind of like um, with Savitar, right? Like, Savitar, future Barry became Savitar because he lost Iris. And he was serving into the dark and all that. Our Barry didn't do that because he didn't lose Iris. But if Thawne's plan was to drive Barry into the dark, killing Joe, yeah, would do that, right? I mean, it would give him the amount of rage that Barry would have, which is what the next B-Force is powered off of, to take over Bear. Because he's so angry at Joe's death, and he didn't even know about it. You know, I, I'm wondering if that's where they're going with it. Like, Barry gets so angry... At Joe's death, like we kind of saw him do in Halo 2 at the end. They're just going to say he's so angry, he's going to have the negative speed force that he went into it. Or the speed force connected to it in 718. And here we are. <laughs> Various the reverse flash. I would, I mean, that'd be a pretty good writing, honestly, if you ask me. But I am kind of wondering if that's going to be the play they go at. If they say, oh, Barry's evil now, he's not necessarily, you know, his normal self, obviously we know he's not, and he's full of rage now because of Joe's death, I mean, that could be the play, and that could be Thawne's play all the time, I do think we are in a new timeline, I, I still, mixing between the two options I said in my last video, um, but, I think it's highly a new timeline than the other options that was brought up in that video. If you don't want to talk about, go watch that video and come back and watch this. Um, but I, I do think Barry will be driven so far in the dark that Thawne can come out. I think what's keeping Thawne from coming out is that Barry isn't fully raged yet. I, I'm assuming that's what the case is. Because why would Thawne, right, playing all of this... And during that planning, just take over Barry for like moments out of time. It makes no sense. Why would Thawne, on purpose, take over Barry and stop at a random moment in time? To what? Show Barry that he's losing his mind? I that that wouldn't why wouldn't Thawne just take over Barry fully and just do his whole plan? Uh, why would he drag this out? I, I don't see I mean, I guess Thawne does like dragging stuff out, because he normally does, but my point is, does it really make sense for Thawne to drag out him becoming the Flash and becoming Barry? I, I don't see how that would add up. I, I mean, sure, you become the Flash in the end, but inevitably, why? <laughs> why drag it out? Why make it so that they're spending so much time making Barry pissed off and that he becomes a reverse slash that way. I I, I don't know. I, maybe that's the Thawne's plan all the time. And you have to wonder again, Despero. I mean, he, he's still in our time. He's not leaving anytime soon until Barry's dead. And if Thawne's going to take over Barry, which it seems very likely at one point, <laughs> and you know, that all happens. 
we know Barry can't run it from Despero. We know Thawne can't. No one can, because they'll find him either way. If Thawne takes over Barry, and he tries to travel to another time, that's what's going to follow his butt. I mean, it, there, there's no way Thawne can get away. So, that's not really a good plan. <laughs> and as I said, you can't kill a god. You can't kill a Despero. There's no reason to do that. I mean, well, pff, I shouldn't say no reason. There's a lot of reasons to kill Despero right now. But my point is <laughs> that, that it's a matter of the fact that Despero has been proven that he, you can't kill him. He's too powerful. He would be able to predict it probably before it even happened. I mean, Thawne, while he could try, he'd probably end up dying anyways. And then what? You have Thawne and Barry dead. Thawne doesn't get what he wants. Plus, you know, a Barry dies. <laughs> I mean, you know, that's two factors right there. So, Thawne's plan would just been for nothing, right? So, why would Thawne let that happen? I, I don't see... I could see Thawne becoming the Flash. I could see that. But the problem is... Why? <laughs> why? I get... Well, I get why. Because he wants his speed. He wants to be the fastest. He wants to be faster than Barry after he mock him in 718. But after what he's seen Despero doing, is that really worth it? And if Barry dies, Thonka can become Barry. He can't because he'll be dead. <laughs> I mean, unless he's already had the plastic surgery, like in the comics. But we know this isn't plastic surgery. This is Thon taking over Barry. Somehow, some way. I'm assuming it's part of Speed Force. I'm assuming 718. When Nora, Speed Force Nora, connected to negative Speed Force, it gave Thawne that opening to connect to Barry on a godlike level. <laughs> and he planned his pie since the beginning to take over Barry. And he's been doing it all this time. I hope we find out how long it's been happening and not just, oh, it's been happening for the last two days. I mean, it, this has been happening longer. I think the writers know that. So we need, to, we need to find out how long Barry's been taking over, what's been going on since, <laughs> did Joe really die in this timeline, and is it the original timeline? And also, what the hell? <laughs> that, that's the number one question that should be on our, not, our minds in 803. What the hell is Thawne doing? Because <laughs> either Thawne dies as Barry, and then they're both dead, or Thawne's dying. <laughs> I, I mean, unless he gets away and Despero just deals with it. I mean, after all of this, Despero trying to kill Barry for what he supposedly did in the future, or someone that looks like Barry, and it's Thawne, and he takes over our Barry, that's what's going to kill him. I mean, what's Thawne going to do? Ruin this city in the timeline? Despero won't put up with that. He said several times that if Barry shows that he's evil, He's going to kill him. He tried killing him. And at the end of A2, we know he's going to find Barry in Endo 3 and try to kill him again. He's going to come pretty damn close to it. We know he has that power. So, what? it makes no sense that Thawne can make it out of this alive, is my point. If Despero, assuming, assuming, Despero finds out that Thawne's went behind all of this, and he trust Barry more than ever, <laughs> and he teams up with Barry to stop Thawne, wouldn't Desmond just kill him? <laughs> I mean, that would make no sense to let him live. I'm not saying I want Thawne to die, because, you know, he's the main villain of the show. <laughs> he's been for the last eight years. But, wouldn't that kind of ruin Desmond's story? <laughs> I mean, that would make exactly what happened on his home planet happen on Earth. Which is why he came to our timeline to kill the Flash. To stop what happened 10 years from now down the line so that it doesn't happen again. And then he doesn't repeat of his own home planet. If he keeps stunned alive, it's gonna happen again. <laughs> like, it, th there's a loophole here and a massive plot hole. So the writers need to do really well with that, otherwise they're going to be in trouble. <laughs> I'm just saying it right now. If they don't do good writing with this, something bad's going to happen to the show. And it's going to drop in ratings. I'm saying it right now. 
The show has been doing really well these last two episodes. 803 looks even better than 802 from what we've seen already, and I'm saying that. 804 Thawne comes back, and 805 I'm assuming it's when um, Barry gets taken over by Thawne and becomes the reverse Flash. The question is, though, again, I say for the upcoming time, why? <laughs> Why, why, why let yourself die to death, bro? That, 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 because that's what's gonna happen. Again, it would ruin the entire point of Death coming back to this time. And we know Barry can't let up Thawne. Even if he didn't let him go, Thawne will eventually find a way to get out of whatever the hell Flock of Seagulls Barry puts him in. And we'll be right back at square one with Thawne kicking around. Probably gonna take over Barry again. Great arm again and again. Despero would have to kill him. I mean, it's just going to be the end of Thawne? <laughs> I mean, I, we don't see him pass Armageddon, apparently. <laughs> so, well, at least right now, we don't know. But, could it be? <laughs> could they literally kill off Thawne and Armageddon? I, I, I mean, would I mind it? Yes. <laughs> I don't want Thawne to die. I like having Thawne every season. I think it's a good idea for the show. But... It would ruin Despero's entire storyline when he came back. And the other thing was... Was that Despero said on that day... In 802... That Barry would... His mind would break. And he would become evil. I guess you can say Barry became evil, but he's not fully there yet. <laughs> but... So this means this happened in another timeline. Which makes me to believe... Either A, this is just a new timeline, and the entire timeline is set up, past, present, and future. Or, this is the original timeline, and Thawne is just doing something in Despero. <sighs> I think the second one's, the first one's more, uh, um, logical, but, you know, <sighs> here we are. I, it's going to be very interesting to see how 803, 804, and 805 play out. Especially with... Barry becoming Thawn. Assuming he does. And again, I'm assuming he does. Because, you know. Unless Barry can find somehow, some way to stop that from happening. It won't happen. But, I would assume it would. I, I don't, you know, entirely see that not happening. And again, it could be future Barry. Future Barry could come back to our time. As Thawn, he could have changed his entire suit. Like we know from Seth photos, we know... Barry's going to be in reverse flash suit, a new vest, reverse flash suit, with red boots and an entirely yellow suit with the red earpieces that our Barry has now, with those, the yellow, like, whatever it's called, that, like, goes to the back of his head, that's, like, out more. It'll be like that. It'll be exact season 6 slash 7 slash 8 suit, but with red boots, fully red boots, and a yellow suit. I mean, it, that's pretty much it. So... It wouldn't make sense that Thawne would take over Future Barry, repaint the suit, make it his suit, make it his own, and come back to our time as Future Barry. But you would think Future Barry's faster than our Barry, right? <laughs> you would think. So, how would that... I don't know. <laughs> kind of just going back and forth, but, yeah. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> and I think, I would hope it would be a good mess, not bad mess. I think the writers really know what they're doing now. <laughs> and I hope Eric Wallace does too. Um, 801 and 82 were amazing. AO3 looks great, as I said earlier. But, yeah. I think it's going to come all down to the writing. And whether or not it's good. Because I think we all want Barry to come in first Flash. At least for an episode. Just to see that interaction, right? But, again, we need to counteract Despro. He came here to stop Armageddon. And if Thawne's behind that, why would Despero just let him walk? I, I don't see that being the case. I, I don't. So, it's just going to be a matter of the writing. It's going to be a matter of whether or not they can explain it well enough to either A, keep Thawne alive, or B, separate Thawne and Barry if they do become one. Like if Thawne takes over Barry, somehow, some way, Barry gets out of it. And it's Thawne first Barry again. Like two individual people. And they fight. Despero 
stop spawn, I guess. I don't know. It's going to be a mess, probably. Um, but let me know in the comments down below what you think is going to happen with Thawne and Barry. Um, and Despero, because that's going to be a crisis score right there. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, hit the button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Share it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in my Flash 803 review coming up on Tuesday night. Bye, guys.